Word 4 target. I have an example of every activity type here, but what we're going to focus on today is actually creating target activities. So we'll start by creating an A-B test. Now I'm in the Weedow Finance OMC project, so I'm seeing a finance experience. If you had customized the OMC project for your specific prospect, you could be seeing your own prospect's homepage or whatever page you decide. The concept of an A-B test, though, is I'm going to change something. So here we have an experience A, which is our control, and experience B. In this case, we'll go ahead and swap this out. We'll swap out our banner for maybe another banner that features you know, a mile bonus or something like that. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and rename these different experiences. To keep this brief, I won't. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And here I can specify the percentage that gets into each of these experiences. It's ideal to keep this 50-50 if it's truly an A-B test. I can go ahead and rename this to be my A-B sample. And then if I click Next, here I can pick my, I can define my objective. I can pick um, all of my reporting settings. Normally I use Adobe Target, and what I would do here is I would select, uh, for example, a conversion metric. And maybe that would be something like view to page, where the URL contains. A good generic thing to get into the habit of would be URL contains application complete. Just something that looks like the end of a funnel. It could be application complete, order complete, lead submitted, etc. Et if, for example, I did not want to use Adobe Target and I wanted to focus on how I can benefit here from using analytics data, I can select my login company, which is going to be WeFinance or whatever the name of the OMC project is. I can specify my, my report suite. And here I can pick to use an analytics metric. Uh, what I would generally recommend here is something that looks like a confirmation or something that looks like total revenue. So here I have total accounts opened, total revenue. I'll pick total revenue in this case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just click Save. So, so far we've created one activity that's an A-B campaign type. We're not going to go in-depth through all of these, but let's just talk about what you would do for each of these. For automated personalization, the concept of what you're going to do is pick a piece of content and really optimize it. And so in this case, I've picked the banner. For automated personalization, I can pick multiple individual banners. And what Target will do is it'll inject these different banners in and start to identify which audiences perform better with these banners. So I'll go ahead and click Add. It's showing me that this banner is now optimized using automated personalization. I can click Next. And this is going to take me down through the funnel of creating my activity. It's going to start with a random forest. I'll click Next. Random Forest is just the algorithm type. And here I'm back at this familiar spot where I can specify my metrics. We'll go ahead and cancel. We'll take a quick look at experience targeting. The goal of experience targeting here is to allow me to deliver a personalized experience to more than one audience. And so what I would do here is I would add a specific audience, maybe my credit line audience, and maybe my instead of all visitors, I would change this to my 30-year mortgage audience. We can pick whatever audiences we want here. The concept being we're going to give a different, uh, in this case, we'll do a different banner. So we'll say our 30-year mortgage audience will get a mortgage loan banner, and our credit line will get something that's focused on a credit card. And so as I look between these two, I can see the differences. I can go ahead and click Next. This is specifying which audience is seeing which experience. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and rename these experiences. I won't for, for sake of time now, but if I click Next, again, this will take me to the screen where I can identify the metrics. Let's quickly look at multivariate testing. Now, the goal of multivariate testing is to allow me to test multiple elements on a page to see how their interactions impact success of the page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick my image as my first item, and we'll decide that we want to change the image. And so in this case, we're going to do a 3 by 2 MVT. We're going to change three elements and we'll have two experiences for each of these elements. So in this case, I'm going to have my default image and a, a banner. In fact, I'll deselect my default and we'll test the difference between a 5,000 and a 10,000 mile banner. Now I'm going to come down here and we're going to say that my second element will be changing the text here to be, instead of a, a 0%, we'll do a 0.9% so we can understand how that impacts things. So I've got, or I've got 0.9 and 1.9%. And so I'll go ahead and click Apply. And then I'll pick a third thing. Maybe instead of, uh, do you need help with your home loan payments, our next offer will actually be, do you need help with your auto loan payments? And I'll go ahead and click Next. And so what it's going to, to do for me here is a full factorial, where we have three locations. 
and each of them have two or three specific experiences. In this case, that's going to result in a total of 18 total experiences. I'm going to click Next, and here I can pick my metrics just as I've done previously. And so we'll go ahead and cancel out of this. And then finally, we're going to take a quick look at recommendations. With recommendations, what we can do is we can simply identify something on the page and we can either inject recommendations before that or after that or replace that, that item. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this little module and we'll expand it. And I want to replace these three modules with recommendations. So I have to specify my page type. This is a home page and I get to pick the specific criteria. So maybe I'll just do recently viewed items. And now I can pick a design. There's generic designs by default here. I'm going to pick a simple 2x2 two two design. We'll go ahead and select that. And here I can see this is what it would look like. Now this design is very generic. Uh, if a customer was actually doing this, they would upload HTML here. It would make it look much more relevant to their specific page template. But here I've been able to inject recommendations right into my page uh, using the Visual Composer. I can click Next. Again, I'll see the criteria for serving that. In this case, it's going to serve recommendations to 90% of visitors, while 10% will get no recommendations. So we can evaluate if those recommendations are actually driving a lift in whatever our primary metric is. I can click Next, and it's going to take me through. And here I have the same options of specifying uh, my reporting source and my metrics. We've taken a quick look at all these different types of activities, and hopefully that helps you understand how you can create a target activity.